For many businesses, they receive quote requests and order requests via email. And then from there, they have to take that information they've received and add it to their order management system. This is going to be the first bonus content video for the order management system series. And in this video, we're going to use a tool called relay.app. With Relay, what we're gonna do is access our Gmail, or you can do this with Outlook as well, but we can take an email quote request or an order request that we have received. We can move it to a folder or add a label to that email, and it will automatically pull in the data from that order request and add it to our order management system. Make sure you check this out. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Zach Stevenson. I'm a business process and no code consultant. If you need help streamlining or automating any of your business processes, you can visit our website, innerdevsolutions.com, or you can click the link in the description below to book a free consult. Relay.app is going to be our automation and workflow tool. If you do not have an account already, make sure you check out the description. There's a link there to get you started. First thing we want to do, create a new workflow. We can go up here and label the workflow. We'll do quote request to smart suite order system. From here, we can add our trigger. This is simply going to be a Gmail label added. When the email comes in, we will add a label to the email and then the automation will trigger. Here the trigger is label added. We're going to select the label and it is going to be order request. And we're only going to trigger this for the first email in the conversation. Here we can find that I already have email. So this is just a test email I sent to myself here looking to get a dining set, including a kitchen table and four chairs. What's the cost? That label has been added and it is finding it here. We can test with this data. And here's all of the fields and information that we have available throughout this automation. Next step here, I'm gonna add a step. I'm gonna go to Smart Suite and we're going to create a new record. We're gonna have to find the table, which is the order management system. And our first table is our sales order. And then we can populate the various fields using the information from that email. If I go into the order management system, here's our sales order, and here's all of the fields that we will be able to add information to. We'll go back to Relay, add a field, and the first one I'm going to add is customer name. I'll bring in customer email, bring in the quote date, order status, and the quote email slash notes field as well. For the customer name, I'll add that and it's going to be from, and I will use the name field. Here, I will use the email quote date. I will just use the date that the email was received, the order status, this can be quote. And then here, I'll add some information. I'll just bring in subject, body, and message URL so I can easily reference it later on. So I'll bring in the email URL, add some additional formatting here, bring in the body, and I will bring in the subject for additional context as well. Done there. Next step, I will add in another Gmail step, and I'm going to reply to all based off of this email here. And some of the information I'll add is we received your quote request. We will be in touch in the next 24 hours. You can add as much or as little as you want. You can add attachments if needed, but I'm gonna keep it really simple. Just hit done and we can add in another step. The last step, what we're gonna do is add in a comment. Within Smart Suite, we'll add a comment to the record. The record is gonna be from step two here or step one here. The message, quote, request received. You can add in additional context as needed and you can go down into the assignee and add someone. If all requests or all quotes need to go to a specific person or a team, you can add in that information as well. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it as is, and I will hit done. I will start a test run. Here's the quote info for dining set, which is found here within Gmail. Now, once I've turned this on, anytime a label gets added to an email or the order request label gets added to an email, this automation will fire. I'll select that, create test run, and we can see once I start it, it will go through each step. The record's been created, the email response has been sent, and the comment has been added. We can see that the run was complete and successful. If I go in here, I'll expand the record. We can see it's passed in the customer email, 
my name, the quote date, the order status is set to quote, passed in the subject body and message URL as well for reference. And if I go back out of this and scroll across, we can see there's a comment associated. If we wanted, we could add an assignee and that person will be notified as well. And going back into Gmail, we can see based off of the original message that was received, we sent a response just saying we received your quote request, just to notify the customer that we did get the request and that we are on it. That's it for this video, just a really simple tutorial on how to use Relay.app for automations to be able to bring in information from emails, add it to the order management system, and send a quick reply to the customer or the potential lead looking for a quote. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more tutorials in the future.